This morning, the Rubichez Galleria shooting drawing national attention as authorities continue their investigation. Yeah, we've seen protests in Hoover related to the death of E.J. Bradford Jr., and national reporters have come here to cover the story. Yeah, CBS 42 News reporter Conley Gatsky taking a look at this impact of this national spotlight and joins us live from Hoover this morning. Conley? Well, guys, it's certainly not the way that anyone wants our area to make national news, but this has become a national story for a variety of different reasons, and that's why many national reporters have come to town to cover this. We've seen people from CBS News, CNN, and a number of other national media outlets, so people around the country are having an opportunity to see how this story is playing out here. And I wanted to know what people who live in this area think about that. I asked some people around this area if they were concerned that a story like this might make our area look bad in any way. Here's what they had to say about it. I don't think it makes Hoover look bad, just like Parkland, Florida didn't make that look bad or anything else. It's just, it's going to happen. It's part of the national epidemic. It makes this place do, it, it do look bad. I mean, because we, we really don't need that. You know, we're going back, you know, going back to the, um, the bombs over here. I thought we had moved forward, and we need to press on to, the, to do better, you know, and just, just pray that we all get it together. And one of the people I spoke to says she believes there's a national epic, epidemic rather, of gun violence going on right now, and this is just the latest episode of that. Meanwhile, the officer involved in this situation continues to be on administrative leave while Aaliyah continues to investigate. Live in Hoover, Count and Gasquery, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.